I typically review stuff I find on Amazon, but when I saw this gaming mouse for $4 at the Canadian equivalent of Dollar Tree, well, I couldn't pass up reviewing it. So strap in for the review of perhaps the most scuffed product I've ever covered. To set the stage, when I picked up this mouse for the first time, its weight had me chuckling for a solid 30 seconds. Weighing in at 60 grams, it really feels closer to 40 if you're coming from a more typically weighted gaming mouse as I was. As far as where that 60 grams goes, well, into a decently rigid top shell, but as far as the side pieces, yeah, not so much. As well as a fair number of decorative accents that are just that, decorative. Surprisingly, this mouse has a braided cable, which means in my opinion, literally no gaming product on the market should not have one. <coughs> anyway, ergonomically, I have used worse, but it's really just a pretty generic mouse shape, a bit on the small side, but it should fit most hands, sizes, and grips, regardless of which hand you use a mouse with. In a surprise to no one, this mouse lacks side buttons, and as for the three buttons it does have, mouse one and two are loud but clicky, with the scroll wheel being functional and mouse three being clunky as all heck. Something this mouse definitely wins is the award for the worst mouse sensor I have seen in a gaming mouse. Not as bad as the Amazon Basics ergonomic mouse, but simply put, this mouse spins out more than a 12 year old attempting to drive a Formula One car. If you don't know what spin out on a mouse is, it's when the mouse's sensor loses track of the surface it's on during faster movements and registers incorrect inputs, making it essentially useless for that period of time. I honestly didn't use this mouse for long enough to discern the quality of the mouse when it wasn't spinning out, because, well, there was no point in trying, but I can report the DPI is locked at about 800. Finally, the lighting here is a simple color cycle mode for which you can very clearly see the colors mixing, but it would certainly add a little bit of flair to an office setup as long as you don't mind some strange looks. Funnily enough, I do think this mouse is better than the Amazon Basics three button mouse I reviewed in 2018, but I think it's also safe to say that I do not recommend this mouse. It 100% feels like it's price tag and performs horrendously. But if you want a flashy, light up, kind of small mouse for office work, then be my guest. But please, whatever you do, don't use this for gaming. Your teammates, as well as your sanity, will thank you. Big thanks to my patrons, who keep these videos coming. All patrons get behind the scenes posts, as well as early access to new videos, and it was $3 and up patrons who voted on me to make this review all together. It is the top link in the description, and I'll catch you all again next time.